All right, so uh, welcome to class. Uh, my name is uh, Miles Chen. I will be your um, your instructor. You can call me uh, Mr. Chen or whatever, just uh, however you want to address me. That's that's fine. Um, this is the uh, the class website, classes.smileschen.com, um, and make sure if, if anything, all right, make sure you have this somewhere um, in your notes, okay? Um, beyond that, um, whatever, but uh, all homework assignments, everything, all announcements, everything is going to go through here, okay? Um, so I'm not, I don't send out uh, emails on a regular basis, uh, just you'll probably get maybe three or four emails from me throughout the quarter, um, but if I have announcements or anything to, uh, to make, they will uh, show up on here, probably uh, most likely during that uh, week's homework page, okay? And so um, it's your responsibility to check this at, at least a couple times a week, okay? Um, the, uh, you guys, uh, you guys have the, uh, the syllabus, okay? And this is uh, this is what we'll uh, generally be following. Um, this is uh, this is the planned schedule. Sometimes uh, things get shifted around a tiny bit, okay? But uh, I try to follow this uh, as closely as I can. Uh, you've got uh, quiz dates and uh, exam dates written on there, so please uh, please make sure you can uh, you can make it to class on those days. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, just go to the class website, and I'll show you. Uh, so. <coughs> Alright, so you go to uh, classes.smileschen.com, uh, it takes you right here, okay, um, and you will pick Fall XL10. I also teach an XL13 class. Uh, don't get mixed up between uh, the two, they're totally different classes. They're both statistics uh, classes, but the, uh, the XL13 is... Uh, is Faster paced, uh, we cover a lot more stuff, use a different book, different things, so um, make sure you're always in the XL10 section. Okay. And, uh, and here um, I've got uh, my information and, and whatnot. Um, I, uh, so on your, um, on your syllabus, um, they fixed, uh, fixed the, uh, the meeting time to 6.30 to 9.30. Um, but the office hours, please update those uh, that, uh, to 5 to 6 p.m., okay? 5 to 6, not 5.30 to 6.30, okay? I uh, just give myself uh, like a half hour between the office hours and class time start to uh, just get things put together and, uh, and make sure I'm ready to go for the class. So, um, so office hours are going to be um, basically uh, from 5 to 6 right before this class um, starts, so you can ask me questions, anything is um, you know, make use of them, all right? Uh, some of you uh, will struggle through this course. Uh, statistics um, is, uh, is challenging, and, uh, and so if you struggle, um, come see me, okay? Um, a lot of you will also ask about tutors, and, uh, and tutors are great, um, but I would definitely recommend um, visiting office hours before going out and, and hiring a tutor or something like that. Because uh, tutors are great, uh, but they, they, they cost money. Office hours are free, and uh, and I know what I will be testing you guys on, right? The, the tutor can uh, uh, can take their best guess, and they'll help you understand what you're learning, but they also, they don't know what, what my exams look like, what quizzes look like, so. Uh, so there's, there's an advantage to, uh, to seeing the, the instructor directly, okay? Sometimes office hours gets um, crowded, okay, and so uh, I might not be able to give you individual one-on-one -on -one attention, and, it, and it, uh, if you flourish more under that kind of circumstance, then, then uh, yeah, a tutor might be good. But um, usually on days of quizzes, I'll have uh, a bunch of students in my office asking, you know, uh, how can I prepare for the quiz? And uh, and it's it's a great time to come and and ask that question. That's uh, I welcome that question. Um, but I, I probably cannot give you one-on-one -on -one attention, okay? Uh, but, uh, but it's there for you, okay? Um, any administrative questions, the person you need to, need to contact is, uh, is Mia Varner, okay? She's, uh, she's excellent. Um, that's things like getting enrolled into the class and things like that, okay? Um, if you are not already enrolled in this class, 
there is not a good chance that you will get in. Okay, this class, uh, for whatever reason, it, it fills up um, very quickly, and um, the, the wait list is also completely full. So if, uh, if you didn't get into the class, and if you're not on the wait list, then, um, then there's no hope for you to get into uh, the class this quarter. Okay, I, I will be teaching again in the winter, uh, which goes from uh, January to March. Um, but, so you'll have to wait until then. Or uh, there's, there's other uh, professors uh, offering uh, teaching the class also, and so you can take it with them. Okay. Um, if any of you have uh, a learning disability or physical disability, any kind of disability uh, that, that might need accommodations, um, please contact the uh, this disabled students uh, services, okay? And they will uh, make arrangements for you. Um, some of you, uh, uh, you know, have have different uh, different things going on, and uh, and maybe that entitles you to have more time on quizzes or exams. Okay, all of that needs to be handled um, through this. Okay, I'm I'm not qualified to uh, I don't know take 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 your paperwork and say this is what accommodation you get. Okay, um, that you're gonna handle that through them. They will uh, they will ask for some kind of documentation. They will make an assessment and decision as to uh, what accommodations you're entitled to. Okay, um, that, and that might even include someone's going to take notes for you or something like that. Okay, there's a there's all sorts of things there, um, but but uh, please don't send me because I, I I don't even know what to do. All right, I just uh, I just stay in contact with them. Okay, um, this is uh, the book that we are using. Um, the uh, statistics department uh, made a decision to, uh, to change the, uh, the book um, over the summer, so please make sure you have this book, okay? If you have a, like a blue book that with a car or road or something on it, it's the wrong book, okay? Um, and uh, let's see. Um, so if you haven't bought the book already, um, you can buy it on Amazon or um, uh, or wherever you want, okay. Whoever sells books, whoever's got this book, you can uh, uh, you can buy it from them. All right. Would it um, would it be okay? Like you know, Amazon might take a while. Like, will that be okay, or do we need to like right away? Uh, okay, so you're gonna have a homework assignment assigned this week, and it's gonna be due uh, one week from now. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you have a .edu uh, email address, you can sign up for something called Amazon Student. Mm -hmm. Uh, which gives you free two-day shipping. Oh. Okay, so it's uh, it's pretty great, um, and uh, and yeah. So if you have a .edu address, uh, register with Amazon Student, and you can get this book. It's not a cheap book. I'm sorry about that, but this is also not a cheap class, and I'm sorry about <laughs> that. I don't I don't set these uh, these prices and things like that. Um, but yeah, you can uh, you can get this, and it'll be sent to you um, two days, I guess. Uh, I've got a little link on the uh, on this webpage. If you use that to buy your book, I get like uh, two bucks from Amazon as a as a thank you. Um, so any any little bit helps, um, and it doesn't charge cost you anything extra. But you don't have to use that link. Uh, my feelings won't be hurt or anything like that. So. Yeah, they sell this on Amazon, and um, and uh, yeah. So uh, it's like. It's uh, so you can probably get a used book on Amazon for ninety bucks, but then you won't have the two-day shipping advantage. Sure. Uh, and if you buy it new, so you get the two-day, it's like a uh, one hundred fifteen or something no, like that. No, more like one seventy-five. Uh -huh. The UCLA bookstore. Uh, the UCLA book. Okay, should have. Oh, did you pay one seventy-five for it? Oh, yeah. oh, wow. One forty-five. Oh, okay. Well, let's let's see what Amazon says right now. Okay. All right, they're charging 124. Ah, 20. Okay, so. Uh, 174. Ouch. Okay, so if you paid a, a lot more than that, I'm sorry. Oh, there's only four <laughs> left in stock. You know, I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get on that. That's. Um. Okay. I'm wow. I'm sorry if uh, if the bookstore uh, charged a lot more. Does it have to have the CD? Yeah, it does, it have does have not have to have the CD. Okay. Um, but you need to have a computer, all right? Uh, so you don't need the CD, uh, that's fine. Um, there is also, oh, and I, and I hate 
doing this, um, but you've got to uh, also go to this website, StatCrunch. I guess some of the books, depending, on, maybe if you paid the 150 or something or whatever, it includes StatCrunch. It may say that in your book somewhere. Um, that like there might be some kind of like code card yeah, with like code. a little code on it or something that you can use. Uh, it might include StatCrunch. Um, I'm assuming most of you bought, didn't buy the uh, the book that contained this code card, and you're gonna have to go to StatCrunch and uh, and buy a, a StatCrunch account. Okay. Um, so you go to StatCrunch and then you click uh, subscribe over on that left hand side right over there. Yeah, uh, you click the subscribe. And, uh, and most of you will probably just do uh, purchase six months of access for twelve dollars. Okay, um, if you have if you bought a book with um, if they charged you a lot, they probably included some kind of access code. Um, then you would use the access code, and it's like keying in a gift card or something, and, uh, and it'll give you access to that. Okay, but uh, you'll have to go here uh, and then pay twelve dollars. Uh, this is to um, get access to um, statistical software that uh, that we'll be using um, for labs and to analyze data. Okay, because um, we'll, we'll talk about what statistics is all about. Um, but for statistics to be useful, we've got to uh, look at data, and uh, and today almost all data analysis is done on the computer. There's um, difference software programs out there. Some are crazy expensive, like $1,000. Uh, this gives you a pretty good program, $12, okay? Six months of access. Yes, we have a question. Two, uh, person one code. Can two people use the same code? Yeah. Um, Can you share it to account? Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're if you're okay with sharing your account and your password with a, with a friend, um, I've got no problem with that, okay? Um, but make sure uh, you do your own work. Okay, um, I don't want to see people turning in the same same lab and just changing um, the name on the top of the page. Okay, uh, if you do that, I, I won't give you um, credit for your assignment. Okay, so just make sure you do the assignment on your own. But yeah, you know, if you want to if you want to go have Z's on this, so. You and a friend are paying six dollars each, okay? Um, you know that, that's fine. I, I don't have a problem, with it, okay? Okay. So this is uh, that's that. Um, okay. So um, first, first off, these uh, save these dates in your calendar, okay? You're going to have a midterm exam October 30th, and the final exam will be uh, December 11th. Um, save those days. Those, those should be both Tuesdays, unless I, I looked at my calendar wrong. Um, uh, make sure you you can make it to class on those days, all right? If, uh, if you can't, um, we've got we've to we've we've work something out, all right? Uh, and then these are, uh, these are the quiz days. And, uh, and so you're going to have four quizzes um, throughout the quarter. They're given at the beginning of class, okay? So um, so we're, I'm going to pass out the quiz at 6.30, and, uh, and the time starts then. Um, usually the quizzes are about half an hour, so they end at like 7. So if you come in here at 6.50, okay, you're not going to get extra time. You're just going to you're gonna have until 7 o'clock. I can't, I can't have like staggered starts, and that'll just mess up the of the class. So uh, make sure you get to class on time for those days, all right? Um, you know, traffic in LA uh, can suck sometimes, and so um, just make sure you give yourself extra time on those days, all right? Um, traffic is not uh, a valid excuse for being uh, late to class, okay? I know um, it's, it's a little bit... Uh, it's a little bit unpredictable, but at the same time, and it's out of your control. But at the same time, we can we can always plan for these things. So, uh, so just make sure. You know, I would say on quiz days, try to come to office hours. And in the worst case scenario, there's there's a uh, traffic and you miss office hours, but at least you're here on time for the quiz. Okay. And uh, in office hours, I I try to make them uh, useful. Really 
Alright, uh, those of you who are getting here uh, late, uh, I've got extra copies of the syllabus here. I don't know, are there extra copies of the syllabus floating around? Okay, so there's one out there, um, and if, if you need some, I'll, I'll put them up here. There is, um, uh, I also created a Facebook um, page for this class. Um, I'm assuming a lot of you have Facebook, some of you don't. And um, it's not required. You're not going to lose points if you don't join the Facebook group. Um, the last quarter, uh, the Facebook group was, uh, I thought, was something very good. Um, and, uh, and and it's really uh, up to, uh, I guess, what happens um, uh, among the students. Um, but uh, but last quarter, uh, students were arranging study groups. They were trying to figure out, you know, who's in this local region and who's you know who's on the west side and who's in Glendale and who's here and there. And they, they figured out uh, study groups. Um, they posted, uh, you know, if you have questions about any of the problems, I encourage posting it on the Facebook group rather than sending me a direct email because um, uh, my answer to your question there. Uh, to benefit other students uh, who are in the group, okay? And um, and also other students can chime in and say, you know what, um, you know, Mr. Chen's explanation was this, but for me it helped, uh, I understood it more this way, and uh, by saying that, um, the students um, can, can benefit each other, okay? And sometimes when you explain something to another student, you learn it uh, a lot more yourself. Um, and, uh, but if somebody, if a student explains something poorly, I'll say, oh, that's actually not correct. And so you, <laughs> gotta, um, you have the, the benefit there. So, um, so that's that. Um, and then at the end of the, uh, the quarter, um, uh, I give uh, like extra credit points based on your participation in the, uh, in the Facebook group, okay? So students who participated get it more. It's like, uh, I don't know, it ends up being like 2 or 3%. enough to get you through the course. Um, but I strongly, strongly encourage um, at least getting a scientific calculator um, or a, a graphing calculator. If, you got, if you've got a graphing calculator already, um, that's more than enough. Um, I personally am a fan of uh, this, uh, scientific calculators. This is like, uh, this is the one I use and you'll see, um, I, I've made some videos and you'll see me use it. And, uh, and I'll explain uh, along the way, um, if you've got one of these calculators, some of the buttons to push that will, that will help out uh, in making uh, your calculation easy, okay? Uh, the only calculators that aren't allowed are like your, uh, your cell phones, okay? So, um, I know some of you guys got the new iPhone, and, uh, it's got a new clock and a new calculator or whatever. No, same, same old calculator, but whatever, but um, I can't let you guys use that, all right? There's just too much potential for outside content to enter uh, the exam or something. Okay, um, we'll talk about the exams as they approach. Okay, um, and then uh, I have homework and quizzes and whatnot. You've got to do your homework, okay? If you don't do your homework, there's no hope of you passing this class, all right? Um, I mean, the homework accounts for like, uh, I forget, 15, 20% of your grade, um, 20%. But if you don't do your homework, it's, uh, I've never seen anyone pass the class who, who didn't do their homework, okay? Uh, let's just say, put it that way. Uh, you, you learn, I think the homework reinforces a lot of the learning. Um, but of course, uh, you, gotta, you gotta do that, okay? So you gotta study. Um, quizzes, uh, we'll talk about those. Uh, there will be four quizzes. I dropped the lowest quiz grade. I dropped the lowest quiz. So that, that helps. Are you posting the homework on the website? Yes, yes, homework, everything. Oh, okay, so I'm sorry. Homework is 15%. Oh, attendance is 5%, okay, which is like, uh, most of you will get that. All right, um, all right, uh, makeups. Uh, if you miss a quiz or an exam or something, okay, there, you've got to have some kind of documentation providing an explanation for why you missed, okay? Um, 
It's unfortunate, but I, I can't just take students at their word anymore. Um, so, uh, you know, if, you're, if, uh, if your car gave you trouble, you know, just give me uh, like an auto mechanic receipt or something, okay? Or if, uh, if you had to see the doctor or something, just show me a, a doctor's note or something like that, okay? Um, just we'll, we'll figure things out. I'm pretty um, reasonable, but at the same time, um, I also know not to be naive. Uh, and, uh, and I think this is a standard grading scale, A's, B's, C's, and D's. Um, if you're on pass-fail, you need to get um, a C or better, okay, which is 70%, okay? So there's no C minus. If you get a 70%, I give you a C. You pass, you can go on with your life, okay? Um, but if you hit 69%, that's, that's a D, okay? So uh, that's, it's unfortunate, but uh, that's... Uh, that's, that's the cutoff there, okay? Um, and uh, so I don't, quote, curve my grades, um, but there's plenty of extra credit opportunities. I don't have separate extra credit assignments, but every quiz and every exam, um, if you do well, you can get over 100%. So there's always a little bit of room to, uh, to get a few points wrong uh, without being penalized for it. So if you get a... If you answer all the questions correctly on the quiz, you'll get like 120%, uh, which is huge. Question, questions, anything? No, okay. Okay, and so let me just demo uh, what one of the homework pages looks like. So, um, so this week you will have your first homework assignment, okay? And, uh, and what you are uh, required to do will be uh, will be listed here. Okay, uh, the first week uh, there, it looks like a, a little bit more than usual just because I've got some I don't know orientational type things to go. Um, but generally uh, it will say complete and turn in the the following exercises, and uh, I will just list off numbers uh, of problems that you need to do. Okay, and so on the. Uh, Okay, yeah, and I'm sorry. Uh, so those of you who are just getting here, yeah, there was a mistake in the email that I had sent out. Class starts at 6.30 and not 7 o'clock, so it's it's not your fault, okay? All you've missed so far is just um, course policies and things like that, and I've got a video of it, and it will be posted so you can uh, review that. Um, okay, so, uh, and... Uh, I was, I, when a student asked me this, I was a little bit um, surprised at, uh, at his question, but at the end of the chapter are the chapter exercises, okay? So for chapter one, the, uh, the exercises start on page 26 in the book or something like that, and, uh, and you will just do those, uh, those assignments, okay? Uh, a student, he said, I couldn't find the homework problems, and I, was, I, I couldn't understand how that could be, but... Uh, here it is, and I'm showing you where they are so nobody can have that excuse on that they could not find the homework problems. Um, so uh, they are listed there. Um, I ask for your uh, name and email address. Um, I know you had to give your email address to UCLA Extension, but I guess because of their privacy policy statement, they're not allowed to give me your email address, and I have to ask for your email address directly, okay? One of their in their privacy policy, they said they're not going to give their email address, your email address to anyone, so they don't want to get in trouble for disobeying that or something. So uh, please give me your email address so I can have it, so I can send you um, emails. And, uh, and join the, uh, the Facebook group if you can. Um, go over the syllabus. And, uh, and this is uh, something I do for my students, um, and that is I post the answers um, to the homework problems, okay? I don't know anybody else who does this, but um, but I, I post the answers for you. These are here to help you, okay? Please do not let these get in your way, in the way of your learning, okay? And what I mean by that is, um, and I'll tell you how I think you should do your homework, okay? What I think you should do is, uh, the, uh, the chapter starts off with some reading, okay? And uh, in each, uh, throughout the chapter, they'll, they'll have these examples, okay? And so um, 
you read the example, read through the example, follow along with it, and then um, um, go to uh, the homework list and see if you can do um, problems that are relevant to that example and, uh, and work through them. And see if you can do the homework problem all on your own at first. And if you can't, you know, flip back and forth between the reading and whatnot and do that. And then, uh, and then continue on. Go uh, read more from the chapter, do more problems, try to do those, solve those, and, uh, and move on until you get through um, the full section or whatnot. And then go over the, uh, the answers, okay? Um, I recommend that over, uh, and I've seen uh, different strategies, and I, and I don't think they're, uh, the other ones are as good. I see some students try to just do all the reading in one sitting, and then try doing the uh, the homework problems. I don't think that's as effective, just because all the at, at some point after after you read a bunch, it just all becomes gibberish and it's not making sense in your brain. Okay, so just read a little bit, make sure you understand what you read, do the problems to test your understanding, and uh, and, and go on. After you've done that, look at the uh, the video to uh, to make sure you got the right answer, and uh, and go on. Okay, what you shouldn't do, and, uh, and this happens every single quarter, um, and these students ultimately fail the class, is uh, some students um, are like, oh great, the homework, uh, homework answers are posted. Uh, they just click the video, they just sit back passively, uh, watch me work through it, and then they just copy down the answer at the end of the video. And then some students don't even do that, they just fast forward to the end of the video, <laughs> and, and write down the answer that they see, um, you know, uh, thinking, you know, Mr. Chen's an idiot, he's just giving the answers and this is a free 15%. Uh, you yeah, know, that's true, right? Uh, when you turn in the homework, I'm not gonna know the difference between someone who just copied down the answers and someone who worked through the answers and got them the right way, okay? Uh, actually, there, there have been a few times when I could tell the difference because uh, I had made a typo in the, uh, uh, the video, and, uh, and the typos were copied directly uh, into the answers, and, and I knew, well, this, this answer just doesn't make sense. But, uh, but sometimes that happens, and um, all I can say is don't do that. Um, and if you do that, you are just really um, hurting yourself, okay? Uh, you guys are in college, and know better than that, but uh, but it, it, it happens every quarter, and um, well, uh, I don't know, you, you guys paid too much money for this class to just throw it away by being lazy, okay? So I have a question um, regarding the book. Are we supposed to bring it to class every week, or is it just used for homework? Uh, okay, so it will, um, so the homework I assign reading from the book and problems from the um, sometimes uh, in class, uh, especially when we talk about reference tables and things like that, um, uh, I make mention of what's going on in the book. Uh, sometimes I'll do examples from the book, uh, and so some students like to follow along, other students don't, uh, and they just rather just take notes on what I'm doing. Um, it's, it's up to you, okay? Uh, I, I think it's best to, uh, to bring the book um, and if you don't want to use it, you can just it's leave like it. Like no room on our desk. I know, I know. <laughs> These desks are small, um, and, uh, and it can be like that when you take tests and things like that. So you know, I don't know. That's uh, that's light, I guess. Uh, okay. So um, I don't, are are there any questions on anything? Yes. So on the uh, on the quizzes, you're allowed a three by five note card that you can write on front and back uh, as for reference, okay? And for the uh, the midterm and final exam, uh, you will be given you're allowed to bring in a full sheet of notes. Midterm just one side, final exam you can have both sides, okay? Um, and we'll talk about what you might want to put on your uh, your note sheet and things like that. Um, but I don't, I don't like provide a formula reference or something like that. So, uh, you can, so that will be the extent of the notes you're allowed. Uh, it's not going to be like open book or open notes in, in that regard. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. And uh, so yeah, the videos are there to help you and uh, help you check whether you've got the answers correctly. 
correct, um, but uh, don't use it to to take a shortcut. Okay? It's, it just doesn't doesn't work. Okay? Um, also, um, some of you are in this class, and you, I, I'm, for lack of better words, you should not be in this class. Okay. Um, I know UCLA Extension does not check prerequisites and things like that. So some of you have not taken algebra, or you just took pre-algebra or something, or you didn't do grading your algebra class and, and things like that. But uh, UCLA Extension didn't check your prereqs, and so they just let you in. They said, all right, well, you, if you signed up for the class, we're assuming you're ready. Um, and some of you aren't, OK? And I don't know. Um, I guess at this this is my warning to you. I want to discourage you. If 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 you barely got through algebra, okay, you're probably not ready for this class, okay? Well, the prereq, the the main prereq for this class is that you need to have a good understanding of algebra. And if you don't have a good understanding of algebra, um, everything we do in this class is going to be uh, just just over your head, okay? And uh, um, I don't know um, if that's you. I would recommend just dropping it. Okay, you're not going to get a full rank refund because they, you've been to one class and they they charge you for that. Um, <laughs> but at least you'll get some of your money back. Okay, uh, if you wait like two or three weeks, you know, after three weeks, you're like, oh, you know, Mr. Shen was right. This class is hard, and I'm not ready. Um, after three weeks, they're going to say, okay, you can drop, but you're not getting anything back or something like that. Okay, so if if that sounds like you right now. I would recommend uh, dropping uh, right away but, so you don't wait two or three more weeks and realize, oh, I shouldn't be here, and then, and then re, you know, losing, losing out, okay? And to help you um, decide if, uh, if this is you or not, um, I've got a little quiz for you. So, uh, great way to start class, okay? so. Uh, um, this, is, this is a no calculator quiz, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do this. 